Héctor Valdez, um, you are going to be running uh, a study, I believe, right? I was really, really interested in that study. Obviously, it's coming from a very trustworthy source, ASU. And uh, so, so why are you doing this? Traditionally, um, as Hispanos and Latinos, um, males um, tend to go to the doctor less than okay. the general population um, and suffer from a uh, disproportionate number of uh, cardiovascular diseases and other uh, illnesses than the general population. Uh, this is a very hard-to-reach population. It's hard uh, to motivate and change the behaviors in terms of physical activity and nutrition. And so we're going to focus on that population, Mexican, Mexican-American men. So what are you going to, to need? You're going to need them to, to call you, to get in touch with you, to do what? Yes, well, we're developing a program uh, around nutrition and physical activity for men in this population. Mm -hmm. uh, but to develop an attractive pro program that people will participate in and benefit from, we want the input of the population, of the community, to, to tell us, what would be attractive to them, what are their current beliefs, attitudes, and values around health and nutrition. And so we're trying to gather group discussions with men um, who can tell us what would be important to them. I understand you're even going to pay them to come? Correct. <laughs> How 20, much? $25 cash to participate. Is that for just a for hours. one conversation or more than one? For one conversation, conversation. a couple hours of your time. Um, we can be uh, uh, flexible in terms of coming to you. We can do it on a weekday, on the evenings, or on weekends, whatever is uh, most convenient for And of folks. course, we don't want the money to be the motivation. We want them to help you to carry out this study to learn more about uh, habits, yes. perhaps. Habits? Yes, the, the knowledge is in the community. The okay. knowledge comes right. from the people. And so we want to hear from Mexican, Mexican-American men uh, about what would motivate them to eat, eat more healthy uh, and do more physical activity. Or the number that they can call? So they can call me. Uh, the project line is 480-630-6553. Or they can also email me. If you have access to internet, you can email me at hector.valdez at asu.edu. Just leave me your name, your number. Um, tell me you're interested in the study and I'll get back to you. Um, we'll run a quick screen for you to make sure that you're eligible for the study. And then I just want to know what language preference you have because we can run these groups in English or in Spanish. Perfect. We want to know what part of the uh, valley you live in and whether uh, what the most convenient time would be for you to participate now, in the group. Now, you interviewed me the other day. Was that it, or am I supposed to follow up? Because I want to participate. Is there anything else, or that was it? No, the focus group is yeah, are coming. We no, didn't. no, no, you want the $25. Oh, well, right. that too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course, you, you would be more than welcome to have you in the Perfect. participate. No, I really want, because I'm, I'm all for health. I think it's a great thing. I'm 51. And my goal is to reach retirement as healthy as I can. Thank you, David. Um, so just again, to clarify, we want to develop a program around nutrition, and physical activity and health that is culturally relevant, that is enticing um, and attractive to the Hispanic Latino community. We don't have that program yet. The way to develop and to uh, build this program is with the feedback from the community, from Mexican, Mexican-American men at ages 45 to 64. Oh, 40, 45, 45, 45 to, 64. to 64. Okay. Uh, so if you you are a Mexican, Mexican-American man, 45 to 64, or you know a Mexican, Mexican-American man in that age range. Um, if you're a family, colleague, uh, friend or co-worker of one, uh, please get in contact with us. Again, my uh, number is 480-630-6553 or at hector.valdez at asu.edu. We want to talk to you.